East Coast, West Coast beef was real. Liberty City versus Los Santos. Y'all know Liberty City been turned into a theme park with chain restaurants now. Y'all know what's up. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? So your specialty vehicle is available for collection right now. We hope you're very happy, madam. Santos. I'm a registered health practitioner with an international recognized degree. I'm a trained yogi who can suck both his big toes at once. I'm an expert in cleansing, a devotee of colonics, and a wise man. You know what colonics are? Yeah. What do colonics go to? It goes, it goes to your butthole. Your ass. Your ass. It goes to your ass, Cheryl. I'm a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior all at the same time. Sometimes I'm a warrior and compassionate at the same time. They don't know where I'm coming from sometimes. A lady's laying there on top of that bed confused because she don't know where I'm coming from. I'm like a pitcher throwing a curveball or a slider. You understand? You don't know what's coming because you ain't the catcher. You see? See what, see what I just did? See how I did that? I went into your head and took you to a baseball game. You understand? I am a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior. I spoon, I fork and knife, and that's what the shark attack is all about. Love making sometimes mean you need to wrestle or howl like an animal. Anyway, let's go to the phone. Please speak, my child. I love you with all that I have. Let's get this Take what you want of me and leave me spent. Hello? Hello? Speak up, homie. Hello? Um, hello? Oh, for land's sake. Sure, give me a better call, Sweeney. God was a fool! He had me on mute! Who the hell puts Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris on mute? You kidding me? You disrespecting me? Seriously, woman? Ray, chill the hell out. You're on the radio. I'll light some incense. Calm. I am calm. But I'm also angry! That is a duality. That's what Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is all about. Duality! Duality! Do you understand, woman? I can't be understood by you, right? I'm talking a foreign language to you. I'm amazing, you understand? Just give me another call and, and stop playing a woman card with your unshaven legs and pierced nose and disdain look for everyone else. Uh, 
Yeah, you do. You have a disdain look for everybody in my universe. Seriously, I can read your mind and you're wrong. You're dead wrong, okay? Who we got? Call up, speak. Hi, Ray. Big fan of the show. Um. Um, back at you, brother. Big um. Big um with cheese on top. Um, organic cheese as well, like from a cow. Get this, this shit so back exciting. in your mouth. I knew I was gonna get on this week. I really did. Uh, Dr. Ray, I think I'm psychic. Can I be a guest on your show? I, I know the answer. I know the answer is no, because, because, uh. Because you're batshit crazy, nutcase. Locked up in some loony bin, and you call me every week. You call every damn week, run your phone bill up, talking that bullshit. It's, it's not, it's not a, it's not a loony bin, Dr. Ray. It's a high security mental institution. I, I never got convicted of a crime. I'm very thorough about DNA cleanup. I'm a spiritual being, Dr. Ray. I'm just like you. Um, 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 damn it. Dr. Ray, you're not oming with me. I feel your pain, my brother. We are all one, but some of us are also two. And that's that. Bye now. Cheryl, keep that freak off my goddamn show. Talking to freaks. Did I ever tell you about some nasty twins named Tammy and Sammy who have restraining orders against me after some hot yoga got out of hand? Hot yoga started and it went God out bless of you. control. And thank you. Where my fault? Damn women, it's 120 degrees. I was getting spiritual. Sure no. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. Oh, I'm a terrible fright on a damn airplane. You gotta see me fly. Oh, I'm terrible. It's true, they have to scramble the jets. Listen, we're getting to turbulence. I'll grab a titty. That's the first thing I'm thinking about, because that's where my mind goes sometimes. If we're going to die, I'm going to go down in a fetal position. Fetuses want titties. I ain't sucking no damn thumb. I'm going out the same way I came in. Everything in the universe is about two. And that again is the duality. When one becomes Hi. two, problems can arise. I am very Let's clear go, about this in my book. Cheryl, what's the name of the goddamn book? When one becomes two, problems can arise. A study in duality by Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. There you go. There you go. Many are called, but few are chosen correctly out of a police lineup. I choose you, Cole. Speak to me. Um, with me. Hey, man, I'm calling you from jail. Dad? Is that you? Hello? Dad? Uh, no. You know you don't know who your dad is. I know that one day he's going to hear me on the radio and realize the spiritual mistake he made and come back. We're going to enjoy all the things a father and son should do. Fishing, bike riding, three ways. Going to a farmer's market. Beekeeping, organic honey, knitting, a dad and his boy, you know. Knit one, pearl two, all that shit. Gangsta style! Blah, 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 blah! And I can say, Dad, I made you a sweater. And it won't fit very well, but he will wear it proudly. And if any man challenges him, he will say, I ain't no sissy. I ain't no damn sissy. My son made this for me, and he is Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Holds a shocker attack. On WCTR. Who are you screwing with? Hey man, are you gonna get to my question? Oh, I'm sorry, my brother. I went deep. I went too deep. I went, I went, I went six feet under that time. I shoved the phone up my ass and smuggled it from Jim Pop just so I could call your show. Oh, you poor man. Sure, loves a conjugal visit. Listen, I'm in here for a real bullshit charge. What is it? Triple homicide, total accident, but they deserved it. Anyway. I'm in a spiritual hole. We can help you get out that hole, brother. You in a deep hole. I got to put my hand down there and pull you up. Sure, get my soul shovel. I'm about to dig this fool out of this chakra hole. Have you fallen down a well, brother? I will pull you out and we can drink of that water together even though you have most likely polluted the groundwater. Like you've been fracking yourself right. I'm really into Zen and Omen and yoga, and I want to get married to a woman who will be there for me when I get out in 2025. We can have a baby while I'm in prison. One inmate told me you can smuggle your own baby batter out if you hold it under your tongue and exchange it with a family member in the meeting room. Anyway, I know I've made mistakes. I want someone I can grow old with and brutally murder in our golden years. I think you need some body whispering. Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is a spiritual body whisperer. Um, um, many of you might ask, what are you doing? I'm, um, why are you making that noise? 
It relaxes myself and the ladies. You see, mm, it's a scientific frequency that lulls the ladies into a relaxed spiritual place where the brain shuts off and the thighs go into overdrive. Mind off, body on. It's like trying to... New dispatch. I got a job going right now. That mind is the battery. That battery is drained and dead. But the engine's good. Right? You understand, know Cheryl? Mm -hmm. I can teach you how to get that frequency. But you have to buy my book and my mm, call. You know how duck hunters have a call they're blowing that attracts ducks so they can shoot them like stupid ass sitting ducks? That's where that term comes from. A sitting duck. Because that duck's sitting there. Right? He heard that call and he sat there and got his ass shot. Boom! Feathers everywhere. Well, I have developed a bird call that attracts women. It's called the Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris mm, well, Spiritual Fine Lady Soothing Call to Attract Women. It's shaped like a sausage, and trust me, it looks a bit strange. But blow it and you'll see. Walk out on your cul de sac or at the PTA meeting and blow on that thing, and women go mental. <laughs> Believe me. And sure, you have to blow on a sausage. But while you're blowing on a sausage, you want to. <laughs> Hell, I had a whole yoga studio oh. full of fine women all over me when I blew that saucer shaped horn. It you was like one of medieval shows on cable, only we didn't have a dwarf or a yak skin for a blanket. Some ignorant fools will say, are you really humming on that sausage? No, I'm cleansing myself. Like, like, like wheatgrass on your radio. That's how you cleanse yourself. But wheatgrass tastes awful. It tastes awful. Of course it does. But a sausage-shaped horn does not. You understand? The wheatgrass through your radio is a metaphor. It's a figure of speech. You understand? You are a terrible liberal woman. Bad, bad liberal. I bet you don't even give the public radio. No way. Why bother? It's so patronizing. It's like being spoken down to by a beggar. You have to give yourself and your money to public radio. You understand? Do I have to break this down to you, woman? Shut your mouth! That's public radio you talking about. I am for profit, but many are not. You are barely talking on this show. How am I supposed to teach you the ways of broadcasting, the ways it means, what I means? Your karma is getting shot off the hell. Oh, relax, Ray. I cannot relax, girl. I am not into relaxation. Relaxation is weak. I want to be hit. I am strong. Hit me, Cheryl. Hit me with the rain stick, Cheryl. Oh, not this again. I really don't understand how hitting you with a rain stick is helpful. Turn that upside down. Hear those soothing sounds? That is from Australia. And you're blowing to it. Isn't that called Gracias. a didgeridoo? Whatever! Hit me with a stick! I'm a piñata! I'm not a piñata! You hear me? Why are you obsessed with piñatas? I got a customer for you right now. You either is one, or you isn't one. And sometimes you both is. And you isn't. Ain't you learn nothing? If you would focus on your damn chakra for half a second, all would become clear to you. You can hang yourself in the public square and let people hit you with sticks till candy and coins drop out your ass. Or you can sit on the mountaintop and um, It's simple. I like both. So we got all these lines lit up. Let's go to line four. This guy is really spiritually constipated. He's got an ass full of candy. Let's hit him with one of the big sticks of love. My friend, what's up? Free yourself. Breathe deep. Yeah, that's bullshit what you said about coconut water. Don't you go disrespecting coconut water. That's the yeah, neck of the gods. From places that are mad spiritual. Hot. With cave paintings and bacon sun and drum circles and hot stroke. Careful. And where you can swim with dolphins. Dolphins! <laughs> and communicate with them. Swim with them and communicate with the dolphins. Dolphins are delivering babies, you punk ass. I heard the dolphins molest people. Where you hear that woman? TV? That damn anti-spiritual booty box will suck the life out of you in a minute. Make your whole inner glaze over like someone threw your soul into an oven all covered in egg white. Like this coconut water fool right here. Ha, ha, ha. Listen, my friend. I just drink some, and I'm a significantly more hydrated than you. I'm hydrated. I'm a whole lot wetter than you. People in tropical locations are dead. They discovered the miracle of coconut water. Crack. Crack. And you fill your glass up. 
Now, each coconut maybe contains six ounces of coconut juice. Now, if you got a 16-ounce glass, you're going to want to break two coconuts and hydrate yourself. Or you just chop it up and sprinkle it on a coconut cake. You understand? It's called coconut flakes. Listen, the next big thing is going to be potato water. People in Ireland are already working on it when they're not brooding over cigarettes. Potato water is going to be huge. Isn't that vodka? No, in no way. It is an unfermented Thank water you. from a potato. All moisture should come from nature and be available in easy open containers. <laughs> Coconuts are too hard to open. I've got some more for you. When it's wet and engorged and ready for you to drink. You press a potato, you get a beautiful fresh juice, which is just like orange juice, only better. I've also been trying cactus water, but I impaled myself. Oh, I get you. I hear you. Let's bring it together, my brother. Right? We had cross words, but now, let's make two become one. The duality is back. You understand? We are one now, my brother. I'm upset, you upset. My belly bubbling, and I gotta take a crap, you gotta take a crap. My nose running with snot, your nose running with snot. You feel me? Like when you have multiple universes in a comic book, we all are part of one universe now. Thank you, Dr. Ray. Nature has all kinds of water. Sometimes you're thirsty in the desert, you can grab one of those land mammals and squeeze water clean out of it. And sometimes I get so into hydration that I let animals pee in my mouth. That's Ew. I do. Oh, I that's do. really gross. Yep. Hey. I just love me some organic water. Now, on previous shows, we've talked Ooh, about factory let's farming go. and how those chemicals have ruined everyone's health. You gotta only go organic. Shit is expensive as hell, but the females love it. I hold a head of organic broccoli out the window and chum for them hippie girls. Don't I share You sure do. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. It's terrifying. It's also terrifying that it works. Terrifying is right, girl. You know how many intimate unions I've had in the grain of truth's parking lot? I'll be ripping off yoga pants with my teeth. Who we got next, Cheryl? Line 7 wants to talk about honey. Dr. Ray D'Angelo, I want all your listeners to know, stop eating honey. My family, we don't even use honey products, or conflict honey, as we call it, because honey is made under oppressive circumstances. Bees are kept in servitude and sexual bondage. They're like flying veal. And what's worse, male honeybee genitals explode after sex. Exploding genitals? Damn! I learned how to do that from an ancient Tibetan dude in the mountains when I was over there for a three-month spiritual journey. Well, there was no fast food, so it's pretty damn emotional. I told this ancient dude in the hills, I said, I recycle. I give the public radio and eat organic. But there's an empty part of me that wants a hot fruit toast corn syrup soda, a big-ass factory farm steak, and to slap hippie girls on the ass and treat them like crap instead of putting up with their neurotic drama and dreadful taste of music. Hippie drama is the worst drama there can be. And this dude, he was spiritual as hell. What he said to me? What he said, sure? What did he say? He said, you have to buy the right books. Listen to the right music. Listen to the girls, hippie drama, and dig down deep inside yourself and mm, like a mofo. And I did. I did, sure. I um until my mama threw me out the damn house. And here I am. That was my time in Tibet. At least I think it was Tibet. Are you sure it was Tibet? Oh, I don't know. Some darn Thank place you. with hills and sheep and everyone singing in choirs and all inbred. And they played a lot of rugby. Things like that. Tibetan stuff, you know. There's a job near you right now. Played some Tibetan rugby. Ate some cheese on toast. Real Tibetan style, too. With legs all crossed. For real. Anyway, let's wind down the show with the final yoga pose of an intense session, Savasana. It's actually Shavasana. Shavasana. Don't correct me, I'm a yogi woman. Yes. Shavasana. 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 I know Shavasana. Or Cross Pose. Sure, join me. Come here on a big way, yoga mat, girl. Lay down like a corpse, like you did as a doornail. Lay there like you just got shot or died on a finger food voyage gone astray. I love me fresh corpse. Hi. So relaxing. You relax with me out there. Let's go, please. You relax, Cheryl? You look stiff. Corpse aren't stiff, you understand? Okay, I don't really know what all of this means. Shh. Stir the ceiling and shut up. All Think right. iffy thoughts. Clear your brain. Yeah. Like, go in your head right now. Let close your eyes. Go in your head. 
get a whisk broom. You know what a whisk broom is? You eventually you'll see a, a barber on TV, and after he cuts your hair, he whisk broom you off, mm -hmm. your hair off your body. Yeah. Take a whisk broom and whisk your brain out your head and clear your thoughts. Okay. Like, get, do it now. Do it now. Clear your brain all them damn thoughts. Yeah. You feeling empty now? Yeah. Is your brain empty? Yeah. Now let's go. Man, I'm so empty right now. Like I got a colonic in my brain stream. I got crap the crap out of my brain. Hit the outro music. This has been another episode of Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Shit, out! Keep your hands to yourself. Don't ever do me that way, woman. Thanks. When my grandfather got sick, it was the only thing that got him through the day. I know it was illegal, but it really helped. I got a pickup not too far from you. Sending you the address now. Make the coward brave, the silent eloquent, and render the sufferer insensitive to pain. 500,000 citizens are arrested each year for simple possession. During the next election, end the prohibition, vote yes on Proposition 208, and legalize medical cocaine. Hard-hitting journalism, conjecture, and tons of filler. 24-7, WCTR. It's the Chattosphere with Michelle and Laszlo. Hi, I'm Michelle Makes. And I'm Laszlo. And this is Chattersphere with, with Michelle, Michelle and Laszlo. God, I just love doing that. Me too. So, anyway, on today's show... On we're today's gonna... show... We've got some amazing... We have a co-host who is not... That's where I come in. Mr. Spot. Ordinary cleaner sleeve stains to a germs and wipe the eye. I don't. I kill everything. I clean and disinfect the toughest stains and kill 99.9% .9 of germs and living tissue. I can cleanse a crime scene or strip a baby to the bone in less than an hour. Mr. Spot destroys away wine stains. Dead. Mud. Dead. Cat bomb. Dead. Improving the count. Moon blood. Whatever it is, it's dead. Coffee. Bye-bye. You're dead. Dead Julia. You're still dead. And ink stains. Dead. 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 Your teenager is shooting DNA on every surface of the house. Mr. Spot cleans it away. If you want, it'll even clean him away. Mr. Spot, a squirt is all you need. Then boom, nothing lives on. Rebel Radio, the home of gun control, progressive politics, and break dancing. Yeah. I'm having so much fun, I might pee myself. It don't hurt anymore All my teardrops have dried No more walking the floor With that old burning inside Just to think it could be Time has opened the door It's so wonderful
miss the next episode of Serious Cougar. Eunice goes on a bender with a pool boy and breaks her hip. If women in their 20s don't know their ass from their elbow, and women in their 50s know what they like, imagine being with an experienced, pleasure-loving octogenarian wrestling with dementia and horniness. The show that hits below the belt, just like her breasts. Serious Cougar, Wednesday nights at 9 on Weasel. Well, you pick the tune and you slap the bass. I play the rhythm and I'll set the pace. But we gotta get with it. Got no time to wait. Well, we gotta get with it. We're gonna rock it tonight. We gotta get with it. Everything's alright. We gotta get with it. Get some love it tonight. I said, you know why, Daddy? He says, why, son? I said, because I'm living with two nuts right around a corner for an asshole. <laughs>
Thank you. You won't be able to be level one dude like you used to be. Call just came in. It's up on your GPS now. I want to kill you, sir. You just stopped this car and let me out. I ain't gonna show you that. Hey, yeah, baby. I got a job going right now. I got some bills to pay, so a few commercials. It won't be long, and I'll be hating you. Meth brought you forbidden fruits of incest. Bath salts brought you the taboo joys of cannibalism. It's time to step things up a level. The hot new legal high that takes you to places you never imagined and leaves you forever changed. Toilet cleaner. It's time to smoke a real bowl. Available at your local head shop or in case of overzealous local laws, buy it online. Because corporate country, big country, it's
bridge and never lived. I got a customer for you right now. July 707, 1.5 Los Santos. Thank you so much. And he'll be right with back to you guys. And we thank you for being fans of our radio station. One for you guys, we won't be on air. Everyone deserves part of the American dream. But how do you get your part of the pie? We're the Economic Recovery Group. We'll show you how to get what you deserve as an American by claiming disability, unionizing and goofing off, or how to become a Native American tribe and open a casino in your garage or basement. It's the government's job to bail you out and give you the lifestyle you deserve. You shouldn't have to pay taxes. Someone else should. The Economic Recovery Group. Call today and we'll help your government help you. Never conform. Rebel Radio. For a backwoods gal was she, and for chopping down a tree. She was handy with an axe, and she was smart. Ooh, but I should have passed her by when she waved and hollered high. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. Ooh, when she promised to be mine, I cut 90 logs of pine for a little cabin in our world apart. All our dreams are heaven bound till she tore that cabin down. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. Like a bus all rips a pole, she made sawdust of my soul. She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart. She was tall and she was limber and her timber she was 
lumberjack Might have known her heart was wooden from the start When she snatched away her charms There were splinters in my arms She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart She made toothpicks of the timber of my heart, of my heart. When she We're going straight to hell So we might as well hear some commercials Set me up another, friend, cause I think I'm about there. <laughs> enjoy lighting up a bowl of black tar heroin at work, but with today's climate, you can't smoke anywhere. That's why I got the Electrotope electronic pipe. You hear that? It sounds like I'm freebasing smoking a pipe, but it's electronic. Let's hey, partner. Feels like one, tastes like one. All right, shit, let me make a few calls. Real. That's because the real chemicals you enjoy are being delivered by harmless water vapor. It uses highly sophisticated micro automation technology to make the consuming of hard drugs healthy, discreet, and pleasurable. And it's completely safe. Picked from many different cartridges and flavors. Peanut butter flavored meth, cheesecake cocaine, bubblegum flavored heroin, just to name a few. Finally, there's a safe and discreet way of blazing a bowl. Visit electrotokesystem.com today. For those who think countries, countries, Gone soft. Rebel Radio. something let me think about it I'm pretty pissed about my car true ain't that the truth Take care now. I will give you this target's name, but I know you haven't heard it before. He ain't even famous yet. <laughs> but shit, he about to be. Some sick degenerate trust fund kid who fucks up people's lives for fun. He spiked girl drinks, done hit and runs, assaults, man, you name it. And then he paid his way out of all that shit. And now he want to do some reputation management so he can buy his way into being the next big pop star. He got a label and a song that's all paid in ball for. He got an ad space and social media campaign ready to fucking go. He's all set to scoop a number one single when it drops next week. Now I know what you're thinking. Another manufactured pop star. <laughs> so what? Who cares? Well, our client works at the record label, and he got some nice intel. 
The label sunk everything they got into this little son of a bitch. And if he has an accident, not only will the world be a better place, but the label fixing to go bankrupt. And our clients just bet against them big. So look, we make the stock crash, our clients get some zeros added onto their bank account, and we get a slice of the motherfucking pie. Now let's go put this little evil motherfucker in the wrong kind of headlines. Here's the duck, we about to go a hunting bear. Swindle sheets and left them setting on the scales. But What is your freaking problem? Time to flood y'all with the next joint by the homies waves and this joint right here is called leave we're waiting you're listening to the lab of dr no and
pistol to your ribs, dead back, Chevy, them 373 wheels, chokes out the character, shit spinning around me, keep the dreams and never a profound deal, smoking with profound speech, speaking for living, smoking on blueberry like hell and head in the pit, got the boomerang look like Eddie, I believe it poppin', she let me right on my living room and flow, cause these monster balls are so heavy, I'm just a living room flow, they live a trunk full of gold, if shit should ever go low, then we would never go broke, liquefied the assets, Audio dope boy magic keeps the bent in the console full of weed ashes. Yeah. Yeah. G classes, glass feet, leather under my ass cheeks. Talk about muscle cars, got a driveway full of athletes. Rapping like half the time, I got 20 bands for the half book. Keep it a hundred solid, they street shit. Yeah. Do it, doc. I got all liquored up and hit my wife's car with one of those. <laughs>